Hello, everybody. Welcome to yet another episode of Class Clown Series. I hope that you like short stories because this video will be perfect for you, uh, especially if you want to work on your listening comprehension skills and if you want to learn new vocabulary. You are going to listen to a short story that was written and narrated by our teacher, Sarah. And I would suggest that you listen until the end because at the end, you will hear some listening comprehension questions for you. Enjoy! Sergio and Kate's Cruise to the Keys. It was a bright and blue day Kate woke up to the moment her eyes opened. The birds were chirping and she could hear sounds of her husband making breakfast in the kitchen. She suddenly remembered what day it was. And what a happy day indeed. She was off to Florida's Key West for a cruise. Not just any cruise, mind you. It was an exclusive chance for people from her IT company to go on an English-speaking cruise. She had achieved a really high score on her IELTS exam, along with her friend Sergio. And they were going to board the plane, woohoo, in less than two hours. Other coworkers were invited, but she was closest to Sergio as they worked in the same software development department and they planned to share a taxi to the airport together. She ran to the kitchen to give her husband a big kiss on the cheek, grabbed a plate and plopped two breakfast sausages, a waffle and half a grapefruit on it. She checked her phone for any updates on Sergio's status and sure enough, she had three unread messages. Sergio was already on his way to her place and had called an Uber for the both of them. She quickly ate as her husband helped her set her suitcase by the door. After showering and kissing her husband goodbye, she flew downstairs and met Sergio in the lobby. Her friend was originally from Spain and he and his wife had been living in BC for the past two years, quite similar to her situation, though they were from the Ukraine. Sure enough, Sergio and the Uber were waiting for her at the bottom of the stairs. Showtime! Wow, I have never been to the Sunshine State, Kate said as she buckled her seatbelt. She double-checked to make sure she had her plane ticket. I am so happy our company is cool enough to give us this opportunity. Yeah, I agree. My wife is so happy, but said that she has to stay at home and take care of the kid. She loves tropical places, as you know, Sergio said with a little disappointment in his voice. Yes, I do know. Poor Mary. We should all definitely do a double date when we get back so we can fill our spouses in on all the details of the trip. Of course, John would have loved to see the Florida Keys too. Kate said that and thought of her memories in the Ukraine even in BC, and knew that the Floridian sites would be way different. Of course, having to speak English with others aboard the ship would be a little strange and awkward at first, but she didn't score a band 9 on the IELTS test for nothing. She enjoyed speaking the language and getting to know others and hearing their stories. Sergio was the same. His fluency was very high and it was a piece of cake for him to communicate with others. No doubt this was a perk of the company and an incentive to learn new things and make new contacts that could potentially even bring in more business. As a software developer though, her ability and desire to be social was a whole other kettle of fish. What are you thinking about, Kate? You look kind of pensive. Are you having second thoughts? Sergio asked gently. He was all for getting on a boat and meeting new people. He was quite the extrovert, but he knew that Kate really enjoyed her alone time. She got along great with people at work, no problem, but everyone is different. <laughs> well, you caught me. I kind of already want to be back at home just watching a movie with John. But I am really happy to relax and see the, see the new sights. Once on the plane, Sergio and Kate settled in. Kate never really had a chance to talk to Sergio about Spain and whether he missed it or planned to go back, etc. This was the perfect time. 
She munched on some pretzels and had a great chat with her good pal, Serge, until he had to go to the washroom. Everyone, please return to your seats and fasten your seat belts. We will be landing shortly, and please secure your trays in the upright position. The flight attendant proceeded to repeat the same message, but in French this time. Kate actually understood everything the stewardess said because she had taken it upon herself to start learning French, the second official language of Canada. And why not? She was pretty stellar at languages. Sergio returned to his seat and buckled up. His favorite part, looking out the window as the plane landed, was coming up. Sergio and Kate ooed and awed as they caught their first glimpses of Florida's peninsular shape. Kate admired how neat and organized Florida looked from high above. It looked like one big resort. After all, they were landing in the Miami International Airport. Kate squealed in surprise and delight and was so glad she chose clothes that were befitting of the Miami nightlife, even if they were just staying a night. Sergio had a bit of a different thought process as he immediately started daydreaming of catching some awesome waves at the beach as soon as possible. Two nights of tropical fun and summer sun passed and Sergio and Kate could not believe how relaxed and tanned they were. They got to know their co-workers so well while doing various activities, some planned by the company and others not. They spent the majority of their time outdoors, viewing massive colorful houses, cafes, pools, seeing top-of-the-line luxury cars drive by, and palm trees as far as the eye could see. They had finally boarded the boat and set sail a day later. Despite Sergio's slight seasickness, Kate and Sergio were having a wonderful time aboard the huge white cruise liner. The water was amazing. They even spotted a few manatees slowly gliding by the ship. There was a lot of sea life to be seen and amazing sunsets, like the one they were looking at now. One of the coworkers came to pull Sergio into a game of poker below deck, which was fine by Kate because she had no interest in the game. She was busy and quite content to be sipping on a very fruity and tropical cocktail that happened to match the sunset she was looking at. She took a quick selfie with the drink and the matching background to post and send to her husband. She started salivating as she saw the waiter set up the buffet. Mountains of fresh mussels, a shower of pink shrimp, copious amounts of caviar and crab, sultry salads, decadent desserts, and of course, a wonderful selection of wine and classic cocktails at the bar to pair with the spread of food. Smooth jazz floated out of the ship's speakers and the salty air grazed Kate's face as she walked over to a table of friends. Hey ladies, mind if I join you for dinner? Kate asked, caught up in all of the wonderful ambience the cruise had to offer. Sure, Chloe said. We were actually going to ask you to join us. We saw you were alone, enjoying the view, so we didn't want to disturb you. We were just chatting about what we wanted to do the most in Key West. I want to see all the unique wildlife. How about you? Chloe asked as she gestured to a seat next to her. Kate took a seat and replied. Well, I love riding my bike back home. Have you guys heard of the old Seven Mile Bridge? I heard you can bike across it, and I would love to do that. You guys are free to join if you'd like. The ladies at the table seemed really eager and happy to try it, so Kate's night started getting even better. Sergio and some other guys joined the table about 10 minutes later. Sergio was quite elated because apparently he won a few hands of poker and came back about $400 richer. Kate looked around the table, heard everyone chatting to each other in English, and realized how easy it had become to converse in a language that was not her own. She almost felt like she had another personality. Perhaps learning French would give her even more opportunity, depth, and richness to her life. She was sure of it, in fact. She took out her phone to call John. 
dialed and breathed in. <sighs> Yet another deep breath of invigorating and captivating salty sea air. So, how was it? We hope you found this episode useful, guys. Don't forget to subscribe here for more lessons like this one. Keep on practicing.